What's up, you guys? We are back with another review of 90 Day Fiance Happily yes. Ever After, you guys. Yes, yes, yes. And we are going to be talking about Nicole, Mahmood, Gino, and Jasmine from these past, I think, five episodes. Yeah. Um, but let's just go ahead and talk about Nicole and Mahmood. Mm -hmm. These are two people who enjoy making each other visible. And they have decided to be in a relationship with one another. And it mm -hmm. makes no sense. Because mm -hmm. even when they say, I love you, it's very dry. Yes. It's very like... Love I love you, honey. honey. I love, love you. Honey. Love you, honey. I love you. I love you, honey. Well, I mean, they always say I love you. But they both look but miserable as hell. But do they really hell. love each other? <laughs> like, my thing is, and the thing is with Nicole, when that mood first came, yeah. the man is obviously tired. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, you should be more excited. That Like, you were not a bag of peaches when you first came to Egypt. You complained no. most of the time and all this stuff. And my thing is, it seems like to me, like Nicole is going out of her way yes. to make this man more miserable. From the moment he arrived, you're there telling him, kiss shut me, up and M kiss me, mf -er. In the airport. Like, I, I don't even want to kiss you after that. I'll be thinking... And what is this? Like, yeah, like, what like, was, what is when that? When did this start? Like, You're yeah. calling me an mf -er now? When you were calling him an mf -er in Egypt. You didn't like it either. Um, you, you didn't do it as a jolly old thing. You were cursing him out. So now when you meet him and you call him that, it's like, what is this? But, you know, he kind of, yeah, he was a little cold because you just called him an mf -er, But he still tried to be like, uh, okay. It kind and, of seems and like he doesn't like to kiss you in public. Like I'm not quite sure. Like this man doesn't like to show PDA, right? And why do you want like? And my thing, I feel like you know that's my mood, but also that is Islam. You know, like most you would not even know that most Muslim couples are married until you see the moment come out with and a child. And they're like, oh, they not are just actually Islam. If you go outside of the U.S., the West. Yeah. If you go, not even the not West. If you go outside of America. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Because even in in like in like Europe, they're not like all doing their whole PDA in a lot of countries. They don't do it at all here in Africa. You would not even know somebody's a couple they until you really, see their child they don't or something. Do that here, and then the other thing they don't they don't really do it in Asia. They don't do it in the Middle East. They really they keep like, their intimate matters to themselves. They don't do it in That's India. how intimate matters should be. It shouldn't be this whole thing where like everybody knowing you're having like, sex like, and who you're having sex with. Like I just think that's just crazy. I don't need okay to know to hold hands and whatever. Like, that's fine. I kind of like the whole that. Hands. I like those kinds of things, right? It's okay. Everyone is different, but you got to look. You went out of your way. To make him uncomfortable. But not only that, you went out of your way to be with somebody who is of a different culture, right? And of a different religion. And so both of you kind of have to, like, compromise with each other. But it seems like she's And just... don't like try to make the other person feel uncomfortable. It's so disrespectful, I think. Well she's going And it out shows of her a life. lack of like just care for the person. For me it seems like Nicole is just you made me miserable in Egypt. I'm now in America. It's all hats off and I'm gonna make you the most miserable person on the planet. I think they That's both what made it's... each other miserable in Egypt. I think Nicole's taking it to a different extreme. Oh, she has, she has, she's like, going ballistic she, here. like, really ballistic she's with like, her I'm, red I'm about hair. to set up my husband. I got my red hair. I got my naked woman picture on the, on the, on the, on the with on the, the, with the with pubic all. hair and all this stuff. <laughs> and then, like, I have the alcohol <laughs> hidden in the freezer. Who was alcohol in the freezer? I don't like, know. I have my naked mannequin. All, everything's all set for him. It's as if she to fixed her, her house. Like, Just I'm to about to go him. pick up this mf -er, and he going to kiss me, mf -er, and he going to come up here, and I'm going to be ready for him. I don't care. And you know something? You should have slept on the plane. Why aren't you awake so you can handle all this stuff, all these shenanigans I'm about to put Unless out? Unless you're taking <laughs> some heavy-duty sleeping pills, you're not sleeping on the plane. It's very I uncomfortable, those cramped little, um, those cramped little chairs, your knees all like this, you have no space, like they're like this, like, how the, and then you have to be like this, and you have, like, I mean, I'm, 
what? You know, I used to it's always sleep horrible. on the plane, but for the past, I don't know, 10 years, I've not been able to sleep on the plane. And I don't know, well, I started getting, having some insomnia and stuff like that. But I used to always be like, oh, I'm so happy to get on the plane because I'm going to be fast asleep. You sleep on the plane. You, I do, but my brother, but you, my you guys is, are like, sometimes I when try the food comes, you're not awake. You know what I realized with myself? Yeah. I sleep during traumatic situations. Oh, I see. And that's 24-hour flights from America to Africa. And I've never, and I hate yeah. flying. Like, I really don't I like know. flying. Like, I've. Before that, I always used to travel from Maryland to Atlanta, and that was like maybe an hour, maybe two, two hours. hours. Yeah, two hours. That was the longest. But yeah. I never liked long flights. And then that horrible airplane food. I had just caught malaria and almost died. I had to oh, smell yeah. that awful airplane. Like that food, yeah, it just it made me want to vomit whenever I smelled that horrible yeah. airplane food. You'll they don't let you take sleep. finger sandwiches, like. You have to buy it in the airport. Yes. Yeah. Right. After pat after the checkout. After what? What do they call it? Check checkup. We there was no Chick Fil A yeah. at the United. What was it? We what did we say Dubai Air or whatever. No Saudi Arabia. Yeah, they didn't yeah. have Chick Fil A at the airport. I mean, they had McDonald's, but I mean, yeah. ugh. anyway, I don't know how we got here. But I feel like my mood. There's no way you can sleep on the plane. Like it's yeah. ludicrous for you to be upset with that. And he's tired. When someone arrives, right? When any time I go and pick up a guest from the airport, I expect them to be tired. I expect them to be tired when they come to the house. They don't want to talk. It's really. like, okay, I have some snacks for you in your room personally. Just go to bed. Like, talk to me in 24 hours. You know, like, isn't that That's etiquette? Major jet isn't that lag. someone? Isn't that something everybody knows? Well, isn't that somebody who is civilized? Like, like you just yeah, it's just common I mean, that's sense something everybody knows you pick someone from the airport i'm not expecting them to be gung-ho only they tell me hey i'm here i'm ready but you know something even when they say that i'm expecting them later on as the day goes on to just be like i want to go home because yeah. i expect them to be exhausted you know because they're coming from somewhere they have traveled they want to go freshen up maybe take yeah. a shower sleep but so, can we talk uh, about this whole incident yikes. scene on the pier with nicole i won't spend too long on these things that but oh how about are we not talking about how she cursed him in front of her, her friends we didn't talk about that no i mean she was so rude in fact, even when she went to the dinner and she was telling her friends, you know, he had a problem with my back out and blah, blah, blah. What did the guy say? He was like, so why didn't you just change the dress? No, I am not going to change the dress. Like, it's such an easy thing. This is what I'm talking about. You have someone from a different culture, a different religion. Why are you even dating a foreigner if you don't know how to compromise? If you're unwilling to compromise? And my What's thing the is, point? I feel like, Nicole, nobody's saying that you can dress. Like, there are beautiful ways to be modest. We have so many amazing Muslimas yeah. and amazing um, fashion designers out here who are yeah. making great modest fashion. You could adopt that into your wardrobe. And then what you do is you keep all the cute, sexy stuff for when it's just you and him. And like, that's you. the beauty of it. He gets to see you in your Back family walls and, and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, keep that stuff for in-house like not everybody has a seat like that's for your man i yeah. feel and and some people might be like well she is or whatever but i feel like you married somebody like that and like if you want i feel like she buried him because she likes to call, like chaos and toxicity she does and, like, like chaos because even no when he was silent and it was like he didn't want to he he show he didn't want to tell their business right so he's like oh i am just tired no you little bee she was trying to like, inside get him. him yes inside him and he wasn't taking the bait and, and she got really upset about that because my, she's like i'm looking crazy here you and are crazy <laughs> with your red short hair looking like what is that the bowl haircut or whatever like, like looks like a guy, whole thing that bat. clown with the with the chucky was it called chucky yes yeah that's well, who's in her mind she was ready she like i'm gonna be like chucky i'm gonna be crazy as hell when you get over here to america you even look in her eyes she looks off actually she does she does look a little off but yeah, you know also does. so that's my thing i mean obviously my mood is not a baggy picture or whatever but i just feel oh, like God. she's not really cutting him a break but remember when she was in egypt and she was there and everybody like, oh woe is nicole I said, this lady right here is instigating. Remember when she stood with a with her little swimsuit and was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, this 
woman is not right. She ate up to no Two damn good. Time. She ate up to no good right here, okay? This and was, I, the, I think what she said, this was the most um, insult. I think she said some off, off thing. cusp word. And even when she went into the pool and he was like, this is okay. And she took off the, the head gear, right? And he's like, that's fine. She was still, is it okay? Is it okay? Like she could not just enjoy the experience of swimming. And I said, this lady right here, even though she's trying to, and my mood, you know, he got his own issues. I'm like, but she does the little thing where she kind of has a little, um, Hot little fire. knife that she'll be sticking him with, a little nail, and just niggling him here and there. Yeah. You know, my thing is, I just felt like the whole thing. It basically was a scuba suit, okay? My mm -hmm. thing is, I don't agree with the whole thing of, like, oh, your woman's covered. Because sometimes I see it on, like, Instagram or whatever, where you see the woman in the full suit, see what you see the husband with his shirt off and wearing his little shorts. And I'm just like, I if you're going supposed to have his shirt on, too. It's a cover. And have long shorts on. Like, I don't yeah. agree with that either. Like, if I'm with somebody and they're like, oh, well, you, I wish you would. First of all, I'm not getting with a man who is all up in my dress. I'm sorry, I'm not. And, like, that is, that, like... My journey with modesty is between me and God, not between you and him, because I don't dress for a man. That's, yeah. that's not it or whatever. Right. But I feel like, Nicole, if you want my mood or whatever the case may be, yeah. I feel there has to be some compromise. He also has to compromise as well. He seems but like he wants to compromise. You were there pouring your liquor, right, for your friends. He's like, he it's okay. He's comfortable. He's, he is already saying, I am in America. I am trying to be understanding. Yeah. But yeah, so. But I just want to also close out with Nicole Mamou with this point. Yes. The whole thing about the Muslim girl. They locked eyes and they were staring at each other. He stopped dead in his tracks. The man kept on walking. He saw Muslim because that was his first Muslim American he had seen. So, he, so yes. maybe he was thinking, oh, maybe oh, she well, would know here. about a mosque. Oh, there's Muslim here or whatever. Exactly. Like, so that's exactly. what it was. But you say that he stepped dead in his tracks and he was like, ooh. That wasn't even what happened. Like, I, she, she wants to fight. Go find some Arab woman from Egypt. Like, I'm gonna take you back to Egypt. Then I'm gonna put you on an effing plane. Like, so all of what? This is happening. Like, and then you're in also less than, insulting in the less than 24 hours or less than three days. Like, this ain't gonna last anyway. <laughs> until, but they both like toxicity. Like, they like, there's some people who just they can't I, be in a healthy relationship. They can't be in any relationship unless there's like some fighting, there's some toxic bickering. They make them, it make them feel like they're in love or like they are, because you know how they, we've always had to say like, uh, was it, was it, I can't remember what the saying was, but something about how you have to suffer in love or whatever the case may be. Like so like, like the struggle love? Yes, or whatever. There's just some people who just want this, this is what they feel love is. Well, also it's what's portrayed in the uh, the movies, the TV, especially in black movies for sure, and all this stuff. <laughs> Black movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we like we I love can't, that struggle of. Yeah, so not I just think, that, I think but the also culture see, is changing though. Like the culture is. Kind but we're of, not seeing a change in the media. We're still seeing the same thing that we've been seeing for decades. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I feel yeah. like people have been conditioned to know that to think that this is what love truly is. Yeah. But really, tr when love really is supposed to be a peaceful haven. You know it what I'm saying? You're supposed to be, be able, and I mean, even be. God says it in the Quran, even yeah. those who are not Muslim or whatever, but you should be able to find rest and peace in that person. If you don't find yeah. that in them, then that's not your person. Yeah, absolutely. And you should not have to come home when you're fighting with your spouse. You have to go from being out in the world to now coming home and fighting. I know. What is that? If you're not fighting out there in the world with other strangers, you certainly should not be doing it at home because you should be showing that love and care for and the civility for your spouse more than out there. You should show so your best self. So if you're not self. out there fighting and having chaos, you should not have it at home. Yeah. But let's talk about yeah. Gino and Jasmine. Turns out that um, Gino and Jasmine mm -hmm. have come to find out that Gino did the paperwork wrong. He did not put the kids down on the visa. I think and that now, was on purpose. Yeah, I don't think that man really wants those kids there. I don't think he's he really trying cares. to have his own child. I and I don't even know if he's really trying to have another child. I think Gino just wants to have Jasmine. I think he wants her his pregnant because he's hoping she'll be so bugged out with a child that she'll forget about her own kids. Oh, that she had a, that she has other two other kids. Yeah, 
That's what I think. I think it will be a distraction. So for me, it makes no sense for him to go and have kids when you can't afford a $5,000 lawyer. Kids are expensive. Like within the first year or two, you running a you running up a hefty, a hefty check, way more than five thousand. So if you don't even have that, why are you trying to procreate? And Jasmine, I don't think you should be. You should I let know. him know until my kids get here, we're not having children. For what? No, that's what he wants her to say, so that he can just be like, "Well, I don't have it," and then that way he doesn't get to have the child. I don't really think Gino wants. I don't know if Gino even wants this whole family thing. I think he I, wants I to continue to be having his game. kinky sex with Jasmine. Yeah. And that's why he has her around. That's it. But that's it. But I do I think he clearly, truly yeah. cares about her. No, because the way he cussed her, her out mm-hmm. on that table after the lawyer meeting, saying all this stuff, you're a effing retard. Wow. You're you're effed wow. up in the head and all this stuff. And where's my appreciation for bringing you to America? Da, 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 da. Jasmine, I just want to tell Jasmine this. You chose the wrong man. You no, got with some brokey who has treated you like crap from the beginning, I don't even know sending why. all your photos everywhere, yeah. got you fired, and like just wants you for lust, this really. Is what and this is want. why you have to vet men. Yeah. And you as a mother, even if you wanted to come to America, there are American men who are generous and who actually will love who you. Who are genuine. Genuine. And who actually like women. You see, I still don't know if Gino likes women. Like I, I that mean, is to be am I the only one who's thinking that? But I, I think Gino wants Jasmine, like you said, for the kinky stuff, and then also he also wants to do his little cross dressing on the side or whatever he's. I doing. think that lipstick in that car was his. Yeah, I, I don't think he belongs to another woman. I don't know how he got so Jasmine defensive. is thinking that. I don't know how. I, I have no idea. But that's what he wants. He just wants that. Gino is not about. You see the house he's living in, like how messy it was? You know he's not about family. He's not about growth. He's not about, you know, having a child. You know he's not about that. He just wants his cake and to eat it too. That's it. And, and, and wants Jackie, someone who is willing to go along for the ride. And he has no idea where his ship is going to land. Where it's going and where it's going to land. And Jasmine... You are on some ride in the sea with a captain that is totally clueless. And you are a whole mother. So for me, I just feel as though you gotta get you, you gotta get out of that girl. You you probably have to go back where you came from. Where where is she from? Panama. You have to go back to Panama. <laughs> like sometimes the American dream in your head. It's not worth it. It's not worth this abuse. You know, it's just not worth it. He's driving you crazy. Look at your hair. You're getting bald. And and I know how that is. Like, I never had alopecia problems or anything like that. But I got in a bad relationship. And you could put your whole hand here and I was bald. (laughs) Girl. Yeah. It's not good for your looks. It's not good for your health. It's not good for your nervous system. This relationship hasn't been good for you ever. And like at, at all, all. Because since you've been a genie, you've gotten so many surgeries done. And you were so beautiful before you had all those surgeries done, in my she, opinion. Yeah, she really is a beautiful woman. All this work. She doesn't work. need any of that work. But she thinks that the work she gets, she will be more, like he will love her more. I don't know if Gino really is into women like that. I don't think he is. The fact that he was talking I about... I don't think Gino is. What do you all think? Am I, am I out here on the island by myself? No, I'm right there with you, sis. I don't think he's into women. I don't think so. Yeah. But, but he doesn't want to... Come out the closet. He do, well, he doesn't want to also be like the bad guy in this whole show. Too. You're already a bad guy. He doesn't want to look like the bad guy. He wants to be that quintessential good guy personally i feel if gino were to come out on the show i would be like yes i don't think let's gino free is jasmine gay. i think maybe he's, he's i think he's for he's both more, teams more yes but he's more so on that side on that side than on the side of for women that's what i think because I remember she said that she ha- he cute. had a problem like um, coming to climax yes. or whatever the case may be. Yeah. And I yeah. think it's because that's not what he's used to. That's not what yeah, gets him I off. just... 
yeah, so, Gino, yeah, I don't want to go too deep into. Oh, I'm not into going deep at because, all. But I, I think that this should not be it. I feel like Jasmine needs to take herself back to Panama and stop wasting her time and her youth. What, what youth she has left on this man. But that's all I have to say on this matter. You guys let us know below what your thoughts are on this. But I think it's getting too seedy for me. And Jasmine needs to find her dignity wherever it is in the gutter. Put on her, her boot straps and leave. And find somebody. But don't find nobody quickly. Yeah. Get some healing. Because you need it. Yeah. Desperately. Yeah. Maybe and then two years of therapy. Let your, kind of like your health come back. And my thing is you Together. have a platform. You could totally be a content creator. You could be doing your Your're yoga, better, yes. your fitness, whatever. You could really make money. You don't need Gino. You don't need Gino. Remember that lady with Ed? I mean, you Rose, didn't even get here on Rose, a student visa. Rose? You remember Rose? Yes, I remember Rose and Ed. Who... And Ed, and you know what? She has like about 600,000 subscribers mm -hmm. on YouTube now. Oh, she's doing very well. Rose has got herself a nice place. You know that place she was living in? She got herself a nice place. She is doing very well financially now. Got her business, her businesses, taking care of her child. Jasmine, you don't need Gino. You really don't need this man. You don't. Yeah, absolutely. Like Mary is saying. You can make a way. There should be no reason why nobody should not be successful, especially no. in the social media age. It really has been a blessing. Yes. So that's what I want to say. But thank you all for watching. We will see you all on the next video. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment down below your thoughts on this toxic relationships that we've been seeing. I know. Bye. Bye.